Rob, you and I got to play some Advanced Warfare multiplayer. We did. We got to check it out at the review event and uh, got to try out some strategies in like the small pool of people before it goes wide uh, for launch and got to try some weird stuff out. Lots of weird stuff. You know that stuff that like maybe works a few days, but then like people figure it out and it doesn't work anymore? Exactly. A lot of unique customization options for loadouts and exo abilities that we got to experiment with. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I really enjoyed playing around with at first was the railgun. Mm -hmm. And you picture a railgun, I think, think in video games, and it's like this giant long-range sniper thing. But this is a pocket railgun. It's your sidearm, and you get it pretty early, and it's one-shot kill, you know, if you if you unless they're too far away. What's great about the railgun is it's what you lead with, right? You run around with that out, A, you're running a little faster, and B, if you land the first shot on the enemy you see, the engagement's over before it even began, because you plugged them real good. Of course, there's only one shot before you have to reload, so you pop them. If you miss, you pull out your primary and spray them down. That's a good tactic. Uh, you put a little red dot sight or a longer barrel on the railgun, and it mm -hmm. actually becomes like a pretty solid mid-range weapon. So, I didn't get a chance to be this dude, but this guy was... Well, he was pretty unique. And I'm calling him Shield Guy. Shield Guy. Shield Guy. I'm, this guy. I'm gonna guess it involved, uh, Shield. That is correct, Chris. Shield Guy. Shield up in front, shield in the back. So he's grabbing the heavy shield as a primary, and then the exo ability shield, and you too can become Shield Man. It was somewhat successful. Meaning, was it? Eh, well, you, it was hard to take this guy down. Was there also that factor of like, what the hell is this guy doing? He doesn't have a gun. He's got shields, he's just running around. That doesn't make any sense. You can't do that. <laughs> First reaction is, yeah, this guy is uh, intimidating. And then you realize he's got vulnerability and of course, he's all shield. He's all defense. He is he's literally a, not going to shoot you. He's literally a <laughs> D-man and you can take him down. And I did, I sniped him right in the butt. Nice. Oh yeah. Speaking of sniping, uh, did you get to try out there's this one sniper uh, that is like this weird two-shot explosive system. So, the first bullet is an explosive, but it doesn't blow up when it lands. You need to shoot the second shot in close proximity to where you landed the first shot, and then the whole thing blows up, and if you manage to like plug a dude with both shots, he's gonna blow up, and anyone like real close to him is also gonna blow up. Damn. But if you only hit him with one of the two bullets, it's not strong enough to take him down, so it's kind of a weird hybrid because it takes more shots than the Moors or one of the heavier snipers, but it also enables some interesting strategies, especially when you're talking about a hard point or a domination match, because you can stand with a sniper overwatch on a position that people are trying to occupy. You fire the bullet, first explosive bullet into a wall or the floor, you fire the second bullet right there, boom, you made a little explosion in that area. It's not gonna clear out the whole point, it's not a huge burst, but it is gonna shut down that area. It's gonna kill anyone who's in that little corner. Yeah. And I was using it on the prison level, just like cleaning out that B cell block area a bunch. And it was actually pretty effective. Or even like firing that first shot and then waiting for people to show up. Did you ever do anything anything like that? Yeah, you lay the trap, right? You yeah. put it down there and then you just wait. Hold, hold, <laughs> back, yeah! That is tight. Yeah, moving on, probably one of my favorite classes that I kind of got to experiment with. It didn't turn out entirely successful, <laughs> but it was something to consider, which was the Inviso Knife Sprint Guy, is what we're going to call him. Inviso Knife. Inviso... Nice. The Inviso Knife Sprint Guy. It's good. Considering perks like cold-blooded or lightweight, or any kind of stealth perk... Yeah, your footsteps are quiet, right. all that stuff. So all I had, though, was my knife and you definitely had increased foot speed, you were quick. It felt like some kind of psychopath, you know, murder, just running around with a knife. So in this one moment on Hardpoint on the map, Riot, uh, everyone was flooding into one front door, and I, like a clever son of a bee, j jump on the roof, get behind them, and just start knifing them from behind. Nice. And it was pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, for me, the weirdest sort of uh, mess with your mind weapon that I used was the laser beam. Yeah. Because, all right, let's just call it what it is. It's a giant laser pointer. So if you're shooting someone with this beam, it's basically announcing to the world, What's up, guys? I'm over here! Hey! Shoot my laser! Check me out! Maybe you want to shoot me? Over here? Oh, are you not sure where I am? See where this giant laser is pointing? Yeah, that's me right over here, guys. Follow it home. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, why would you even use this weapon? 
But at the same time, when you're getting a laser to the face, when you're getting blasted by it, when you're seeing it light up, there's kind of this little psychological effect like, oh god, I don't want to be in that laser. You know, we as gamers were trained like, lasers yeah. mean trip mines, lasers mean alarms, lasers are bad to get hit by. So it is kind of like a little bit mess with your opponent's, Definitely. you know, weapon. And you, you can get some kills if you hose the guy down for a little bit. It's more of a assist friendly weapon. Yeah. You kind of tag guys, they run away, they get a little flustered, and then your teammates mop them up. But it's really fun to kind of play around with until you get tired of everyone killing you. Yeah, it definitely happened to me once or twice, where, I mean, I had the go on this one dude, like an LMG, just hosing on him, and he just hits me with a laser, and it, as you said, blinded me. It really did. He's all over your face. Get, get, <laughs> get, get out of your face. Like, stop blinding me, Jesus. All right, so those are some of the, the weapon loadouts I think folks can look forward to messing around with, but yeah. a really, for me, like, the most fun thing to just, just go crazy with, like, right out of the gate, is the exo powers dashing mm -hmm. to the side, uh, doing the stomps, doing the double jumps, do combining all that stuff to just like make your mobility, uh, just like really flex your mobility. So Definitely. Did you find that to be true? That was probably the one thing I was really concentrating on, which was getting really frantic and juking out people with those exo dashes. And by the end of the day, I was in love with it. I mean, the fact that you can, you know exit out of a firefight as opposed to just dying and having no ability to to change or prevent a death um, was frustrating and that's what you know was going on with ghosts but for this it's just awesome lots of cool moments like this in uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare let us know some of yours in the comments below folks and uh, happy hunting happy hunting friendly holds the satellite